this is a topic which I've uh, discussed in my book, The Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush, but I would like to re-emphasize that it is extremely important to clean out the colon before each liver flush and after the liver flush. And uh, particularly, I recommend to clean out the colon on day six, uh, ideally on day six of the preparation of the liver flush and uh, again within three days after each liver flush. And this is extremely important. I cannot overemphasize how important this is because uh, otherwise you can end up uh, developing toxemia and many, many uh, adverse effects that uh, can diminish the benefit of the liver flush itself. So if you cannot clean out the colon, I recommend don't do the liver flush. Uh, that is how important it is to clean, cleanse the colon before and after each liver flush. Uh, the reason uh, why I'm recommending this so strongly is that when there is any constriction, stricture, congestion in the colon, the gallbladder doesn't open readily. In fact, it may not open at all. Uh, during the liver flush. Uh, the bile ducts in the liver are also reluctant to open or to relax when there is a blockage or congestion, uh, constipation, uh, sticky stools present in the colon. Uh, there are reflex points along the walls of the colon which link to the liver and gallbladder and they basically signal to the liver and gallbladder don't secrete bile don't open up um, the bile ducts or the gallbladder uh, because we are not ready to receive new food. Uh, so it's almost like telling the body, don't eat. Uh, don't uh, stimulate the appetite, uh, which bile typically does. So if the bile is not uh, yeah, there, uh, not available, uh, typically the appetite is suppressed. So the body tells uh, yeah, the, the senses and the brain uh, please don't eat, uh, we are not ready. And that also means please don't cleanse. Uh, so don't do any liver flushes uh, you, because it's not going to be very successful. Um, but if you, if you do it anyway and you're passing stones and uh, you haven't cleaned out the colon, uh, first of all you may have uh, stones, you're definitely getting caught in uh, different parts of the large intestine and uh, if you omit the uh, post liver flush colonic colima or animas uh, then also you will have the the high chance that stones will get caught in the colon and gradually disintegrate most stones that come out of the liver and gallbladder they are not the calcified uh, version but they are the non calcified soft putty like waxy, oily, uh, fatty, um, because most of uh, the, the stones are, are made of fats um, that uh, you know, clog up the bile ducts in the liver, but when they come out uh, they release a large amount of toxins if they are you know, remaining in the colon and uh, are decomposed by bacteria there instead of being discarded uh, through a colonic, colima or animas. So it is extremely important to remove any uh, stones that remain in the colon, which typically happens uh, to most people, um, to avoid toxemia. Uh, yeah, because once these stones disintegrate or decompose, a lot of toxins uh, emanate from them, uh, are released uh, from these stones, and also by the decomposing bacteria. So these toxins will end up uh, going into the blood and uh, can uh, cause toxic effects. And uh, once again, the blood goes into the liver and can uh, therefore even create new stones uh, simply by releasing these toxins uh, in the large intestine. So it's absolutely essential uh, to make sure you can do colon cleanses before and after uh, each liver flush Otherwise, I highly recommend don't do it. Uh, don't attempt liver flushes because it can uh, be very risky for your health. I've seen uh, many uh, side effects arising from 
not cleaning out the colon afterwards. In some instances, I've even seen that uh, stones were not released during the liver and gallbladder flush, but um, tons of them came out during the colonic colon, colon hydrotherapy or colima uh, after, done after the liver flushes. In one instance, uh, I remember the person uh, complained that no stones had come out during the liver flush and she did a colonic and the colon hydrotherapy therapist uh, reported that the woman uh, passed over 500 or so stones. That was an estimate, but uh, that's it, it, the, the stones kept pouring uh, through the tube, uh, the colonic tube, and uh, it almost like didn't want to stop. Eventually it did, and so she estimated there were at least 500 stones that came out. So this can be very serious. Keeping these stones in the colon is not a good idea, and uh, they need to be removed. Uh, even if you only had five or 10 stones remaining in the colon after having done a liver and gallbladder flush, make sure within two or three days to do a colon cleanse and it shouldn't be an oral cleanse. Uh, Epsom salts or magnesium uh, oxide is not sufficient to do that. You need to have a water-based flushing uh, system like a colima uh, enemas. If you are choosing an enema, um, make sure that the water is going all the way up to the other side into the ascending colon. And sometimes one enema is not an enough, so do two or three consecutive animals back to back one after the other uh, so do one release whatever is in there do another one release what the, what's coming out until nothing else is coming out and you feel the water actually reaching to the uh, side of the, the the beginning part of the colon uh, in the ascending part so this will make sure that uh, liver and gallbladder flushes are very safe you can uh, trust that you know, everything uh, you will be balanced after that um, and uh, you don't get contaminated by toxins released by trapped stones in the colon. Thank you for uh, following that advice because uh, it will greatly benefit your health. Uh, liver and gallbladder flushes are extremely beneficial for one's health uh, to prevent diseases and also to, uh, yes, to stop uh, or eliminate the root causes of illness. Uh, which you know, is definitely found in the liver in the large majority of uh, diseases, including cancer, heart disease, diabetes, osteoporosis, uh, and multiple sclerosis, uh, brain disorders, intestinal disorders, um, you, you name it. Uh, it's just uh, you know, an enormous number of diseases related to uh, congestion in the bile ducts of the liver and uh, the gallbladder itself as well. Thank you and uh, you having a, have a wonderful day.